Okay, this video is about how much percentage of fat is present in different foods. And this is uh, relevant for weight loss because in general, the lower the fat intake, the easier it is to lose weight. So there's some surprises here. First of all, oil is a terrible food. It's 100% fat. But nuts are much fatter than people realize. Walnuts and Brazil nuts, about 89% fat. Almonds, about 77% fat. Cashew nuts, 71% fat. Now we're trying to get our total fat intake below 10%. So if you're eating something like these nuts in the range of uh, 70 to 90% fat, it's going to be hard to get your uh, total fat intake below 70%. Same thing with oils. Even a tiny bit, 100% fat will keep you fat. Um, flaxseed, I'm not a big fan of flaxseed. Look at this, it's 71% fat. I know some people like it. Fine, go ahead. I don't want my fat that high, and I think you can get plenty of omega-3s just from eating other plant sources. You don't need that much omega-3s. The turnover of your brain cells is very, very, very slow, okay? Salmon, terrible food, 50% fat. Beef and pork, about 60% fat. It depends, you know, you can make the beef and pork a little more lean, same thing with chicken, but in general, it's in that ballpark, 50% or more fat. Soybeans are surprisingly fat. They're fatter than other beans. They're 40% fat. I'm not a fan of soy. I know you're going to hear all, there's almost like all this peer pressure to go for soy. I've, I've given other lectures on why I don't think it's a good idea. It elevates insulin-like growth factor. It has heme iron. It has lots of estrogen. Same thing with flax, lots of estrogen. I, and they got lots of estrogen and lots of fat. I mean, I don't want estrogen. I'm a guy. I want my testosterone high. I want my estrogen low. And women should want, in my opinion, less estrogen, you know, lower risk of breast cancer. Now, I realize that gets a little controversial. I've talked about it before in my soy lecture. There's different types of estrogens. There's different estrogen receptors. And I've gone into that in other lectures, so we're not going to go there. But just be aware, soy is uh, relatively fat at 40%. It's much fatter than most other beans. Uh, oatmeal, kind of fat for a grain, 16%. Quinoa is only a little bit better at 14% fat. Garbanzo beans are surprisingly fat at 13% fat. I checked a whole bunch of different sources with garbanzos, and it seems like 13% is the most reasonable estimate, uh, sort of in the middle of the different estimates. I saw ranges all the way from about 8% to 16%. So 13% is what most commonly it was. I think that's about right. Corn and millet are both about 10% fat. Um... Spinach, 9% fat. Barley and brown rice, about 6% fat. Okay, so here's another surprise. Green beans and peas, about the same, pretty good, 5% fat. So there's a bean, low in fat. Most beans are 25% uh, to 30% uh, protein, a little higher than I would want, but at least these ones are low in fat. Green beans and peas and black beans are 4% in fat. Lentils are 3% in fat. Fruits are quite low in fat. Fruits tend to be in the ballpark of anywhere from about 3% to 5% fat. Blueberries are about 5% fat. Bananas, 4% fat. So what's this point is a lot of fruitarians are very skinny, and this will seem to be, you know, probably a big part of the reason why. They're eating a very low-fat diet. Fruits are also very low in protein. Protein is kind of anabolic. The more protein you eat, you know, especially animal protein, has an anabolic effect on the body, which can raise blood lipids and can also lead to weight gain. Um, there's other reasons to avoid it, but so... Uh, white rice is about 1.3% fat, really low in fat. Potatoes and sweet potatoes are 1% fat. So these are incredible numbers. So what's the point of this? You know, Dr. McDougall has said sweet potatoes are the healthiest food in the world. I think he's right. Look at this, only 1% fat. And they're also very low in protein. Sweet, sweet potatoes are about, you know, 4.5% protein, whereas potatoes are about, you know, 85 to 9% protein. So sweet potatoes are about half as much protein as potatoes. They're both super low in fat. That's exactly what you want. That's like perfection in a food. Uh, white rice also, they're probably about 5% protein. They're about 1.3% 1, 1 fat. So it's a really good food. You know, there's an arsenic issue. We talked about that separately. But these three starches come out as being the lowest in fat. The white rice, the potatoes, and the sweet potatoes. They're all around 1%, 1 to 1.3%. The lentils are the lowest in fat for the beans at about 3%. All the fruits are, you know, almost all the fruits are about 3 to 5% fat. So these are, you want to be skinny? This is how you can lower your fat intake. Fruits, white rice, potatoes, and sweet potatoes. And if you have to choose other beans, the black beans and the green beans are also quite low in fat. Um, as far as like what time of day to eat foods, this has come up in some of my conversations with people. I like to eat relatively, I'll call them, 
less wet or a little bit drier foods at night before I'm going to bed. Because if you eat foods that are really wet like oatmeal, you have to wake up more often to avoid. And I want to sleep more through the night to the extent that's possible. I really like eating oatmeal for breakfast or for an early lunch because then I'm more hydrated through the day if I'm going to, you know, so I think it's good in that context. Um, so anyways, and then the other surprises were just how fat bean nuts are. A lot of people have told me they have a hard time controlling their hypertension on these nuts. All that fat in your blood is going to thicken your blood. I don't think it's a good idea. Almonds, surprisingly fat as well. They're no health food. Um, and soybeans were quite fat for a bean. So anyways, hope that helps.